Good evening, Edmonton. I hope you are prepared for the murder that is about to take place tonight in this theater, or perhaps something else. I don't know, you'll decide. Only you can solve who done it. But before we get into it, Please put your hands, claws, or whatever appendages together for your cast for the evening and your detective, Gumshoe McNett. Tonight is not so much illegal, but it is just as intriguing and terrifying. This is Malarkey Murders, and we shall tell you a tale of mystery and intrigue and whodunits and did you kill him? No, I didn't. That kind of stuff. <laughs> we are going to do this completely improvised. Now, out of all of you, who has never ever seen an improv show before? By a show of hands, clap, maybe? We are all educated. We all know the sacred art of improv and murder. All of us here. Now, the way that we are going to convey ourselves for this story is we are going to choose uh, a couple of suggestions and all of these improvisers behind us, one of them could be the murderer. But we don't know that yet. And the only way to know is to reach inside my pocket very slowly, for intensity, <laughs> drop two of them, have someone put it back in my hand, and this is how we will do it. Yes. But first, we need to be somewhere for a murder to happen. That's how murders work. I demand from this audience a non-geographical location. Wagon. An airport. A zoo. A water park. Dairy Queen. The whole thing. I'm going to go with an airport. An airport. No. Now, there is a lot of things that happen in an airport. Airport, there's a lot of things. But what special, doesn't happen every day thing, uh, what's happening at this airport? The birth of a baby. The birth of a baby is a good suggestion for a different show. <laughs> I have an idea for a mystery show, and there's going to be babies in it. Have an idea. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Josh. <laughs> <laughs> this tale shall begin for this malarkey murders at the airport during a bachelorette party. <laughs> now, please take your places. As you may well know, I don't know who the murderer is because I can't see into their hands yet. Murderer, murderer, I can tell you're just itching to get to work. You have a grudge that you need settling. But now, I wouldn't want you to reveal yourself to our dear audience so soon and take away the second point of our title, mystery. <laughs> so audience members, I invite you, close your eyes. If the temptation is too strong, you may use your hands or claws or other appendages to help you do so, placing them directly over your occipital. Close your eyes, I can tell you're all doing it right now. If you feel like cheating, go ahead, you're only spoiling it for yourself. Now, murderer. Please open your eyes and look directly at the disembodied voice. <laughs> Are you looking? You've got to look with a little bit more enthusiasm. <laughs> I've, I've prepared the lights so uh, it's a little difficult for me to... Uh, all right. <laughs> that was easier than I thought it would be. All right, please close your eyes, murderer. And audience, you may open your eyes once more. And please prepare yourself for aisle seat, do or do not, a marriage murder at YEG. <laughs> Hashtag is the airport. <laughs> so I was standing at the airport, right? And I was ready to win my millions from my daddy, Mr. Bobby. I just want to never work a day in my life. <laughs> I live my life on the fly. I go where I would like to and I never pay a dime. I've never found that working for things equals to success and so I'm very excited to take a flight to Hawaii on daddy's dime. I hope everything's fine with him. He's trying to cut me off. <laughs> Back in 1997. <laughs> <laughs> My flight got canceled to Bermuda. And ever since then, I've been living in the airport. <laughs> the airport is where I make my home. I live on a, I mean, a little bed under a staircase. It's not extravagant, but it's mine. <laughs> yes, living in the airport for the last. Uh, <laughs> 20 some odd years. <laughs> I've, I've gotten to know a lot of people, a lot of frequent flyers. So when Mr. Body invited me to his daughter's bachelorette party at the airport, I, <laughs> how can I say no? <laughs> Sorry, that's my home. I live. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so my name is Hans Hardbody. <laughs> I am, I guess you could say, like, the best, most premium and exotic dancer. <laughs> yeah, so I got this call from this very rich guy. His name is Mr. Body. And uh, he said my daughter, well, she needs, uh, she needs uh, some entertainment for her part. <laughs> it's that you're doing the calling instead of, like, you know, like, the best friend of the bride or whatever. But, so I agree, and I come down, and I see her. She's just the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my life. Wow. <laughs> I start doing my dance for her a little bit, and she seems unreceptive in a way that most women aren't. I have to see what I can do to win her over. <laughs> When Mr. Body asked me to 
to you know watch over his daughter's party. I, I, I didn't think it was it was gonna be like this. It's just so loud all the time, and I just look. I, 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 this is the weirdest unpaid internship I've ever had. <laughs> he, he, it's just so confusing. One day he has me file a bunch of papers. The next day he has me shred a bunch of documents. Then the next day I'm, I'm watching over his daughter at an airport back to that party. I'm just. My brother, Mr. Bobby, is a very rich man, as is our family. The family business is, uh, you could say, booming, regardless of the current market. <laughs> That's right. We own all of LeDuc. <laughs> Chili's anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a too many uh uh bulls? 
<laughs> I didn't know they sold other things! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, I got some questions. <laughs> hey, can I talk to you? I gotta talk to you. I'm a detective. Guys, I'm so excited. Today, things are gonna change. Things are gonna change in this airport because you know what? I'm tired of being a TSA agent. I'm tired of customs. I'm tired of looking at people suspicious of going, that guy looks suspicious. That's not cop work. That's not the proper way to do things, okay? And you know what? Mr. Tillerson, he told me straight up, you are wasting a lot of time in your current position. And I was like, yes, I know. And he goes, you are not proper for this type of position to be, be looking at people and judging them by who, what they look like and, and, and who they're going and you, you might get someone in trouble. And I was like, Chief, I got this. And he's like, stop calling me Chief. I'm not a police officer. I'm like, yes you are. And we had an hour discussion about that. <laughs> but I finally got promoted. I got promoted to the 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. Detective Special Unit mission. <laughs> and I'm going to nail it. 3 a.m. Two hours from now, but I'm going to nail it. Hey, I need questions. Uh, uh, I, uh, uh, questions? I need them. <laughs> oh my god, he's oh gone! God, oh my god! Who's oh. going to pay me now? <laughs> Right into your bank account so you don't have to go through the middleman. I get all the money, but I'm irritated he's dead. I was supposed to go to Hawaii. I didn't have anything on my credit card. Honestly, not the grossest dead body I've ever seen. Oh shit, there's a commotion. Oh my god! Okay, there's a there's a body over here. Everybody get out Everybody get out of here. Oh my goodness. It looked like he had the food from the chilies. <laughs> And it just came out of him from all ends. <laughs> Tell his organs met the floor. Looks like a disgusting cannelloni. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like uh, if you were to put um, a, a, a bunch of beans, like canned beans, into a pair of nylon stockings, and then you squeeze them down to the toes, and then you squeeze it even more, and then some of those beans kind of worked out. <laughs> And, uh, and, uh, I, I'm a detective and I'm gonna solve the who murdered this body and, and, uh, uh, everyone go to section C and section D. I, I don't want anyone leaving this airport ever. Like section D2 or D5? Uh, uh, uh you know what, I'm going to D4. You don't seem to be Uh, yeah, you really don't. I'll well. be honest, uh, detective, um, airport, high security, lots of cameras. Check the cameras, dummy. It's true, they really should be there, but there would be a lot of people. Okay, okay, yeah. Those cameras have seen me do a lot of things. Okay. <laughs> the cameras, the eye of God looking down on all of us. Okay, good.
go. Yeah, that's some weird way for that one. <laughs> I didn't think my dad was gonna die. Sorry, you, you've seen his will, right? Yeah, I get all the money and it's amazing. And honestly, if I'm being real with you only, I'm so happy he's dead. <laughs>
That's good. And I got promoted. Also very good. I think. <laughs> I hope. Uh, it's always so bright in this, this freaking fucking air. Karen, <laughs> see where I'm going. Since a young, young age, 
And you're gonna start buying off the fingerprint, okay? <laughs> Regardless of the fact that I'm definitely the first heir, and therefore what? actually all of the money would definitely go to me. Definitely. Wait, you, what do you mean the first? You're the first heir. I'm the first heir, like the firstborn. Wait, you're the first heir, so they have me. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> what mom said, special surprise, and then yeah, <laughs> I was.
Oh yeah, that's the other thing. You know, I haven't been paid yet. No. So yeah, like four gold, I guess. Well. Did you just pour water on you? Or? Yeah, I set up buckets all over the skin. Oh. oh, you know, being rich, it's hard to find a companion. Oh yeah. Thanks. It's pretty easy for me. <laughs> I have to pay for my services in my age. My wife died. Oh, I'm Shaji. Are you having like a flashback? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was a cold January night. We were at the airport. Going to my private airport. With my private plane. Yeah. And my private wife. <laughs> it was Gail. So what happened to her? She got eaten by turbines. Oh, it's so close. I can practically see it. <laughs> she had a big coke on, and she was scurrying too, lavishing in the air, just frolicking about, loving life. Yeah. And that's when the mink tail got caught. And then suck her in! Wow, that's a real tragedy. <laughs> you know, I don't have any other bookings for the next little while. Maybe nope. I could, like, you know, be like a friend or something. <laughs> yeah, for like 50,000 euros. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Body, uh, or sorry, uh, you like to be called a uh, Grand Emperor of the Duke. Uh, <laughs> I need to speak with you for a second. It's really important. Oh, okay. Don't you leave. All right, I'll be right here. <laughs> <laughs> we have a human resources section. Oh, I'm gonna make so much money from my sexy butt. Right, to buy? Yeah, that button is a freaking idiot. That's never gonna happen to me. <laughs> oh, the is turning on, oh my god. No, my massive cock! Oh! <laughs> Yeah. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> you can picture somebody 
somebody found her in your loft apartment and fed her. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I keep telling myself. Every night. Before I drift off to nightmare land. <laughs> <laughs> I can promise Can you say a yes or a no? Look, hey! Just a me... yes or a no? Yes, no, I, I don't know! I just... <laughs> what? I'm not doing it! I'm not! That's a no! Okay! You should have said that! What's... I can see how now that... <laughs> My bad! It looks so bad on me. I have every reason to want them dead. I hate men and I hated my dad. Just... You didn't kill him, did you? What? Hey, yes or no? That's a complicated question. Yes to what or no to what? Did you kill them? <laughs> I've definitely killed people, but I don't think it. Yes, you know. <laughs> you kill the people that have died in the last... I don't have a watch. <laughs> if we're looking back on the history of time, my actions have consequences. <laughs> Sometimes, I fall asleep while I'm driving, and I don't... I can't speak to that. <laughs> I go and it causes a chain reaction and people get so mad at this world. I caused Trump. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I don't think, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't kill my family. I wanted the money. I wanted all of these things in life, but I wanted to come with natural causes. I wanted it. I wanted them to Coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I write uh, I, I wanted them to die by, you know, skydiving and someone was like, oops, who let me board? <laughs> I don't know how skydiving <laughs> Alright, now that I have both of you here, because I asked you to see me before, and you're here as well, I found something. Oh. The footage from the airport has all been deleted. It was an accident. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> no, nothing. No, unfortunately, I did stumble upon something. So funny to you? This is the one piece of footage that I didn't delete, and it's all of that guy who lives here in the airport. Yeah, it's all Gilbert Gottfried. No, he was here last week. I, I'm talking about the guy that was he yeah, lives yeah. here in the airport. What's his yeah, name? Yeah, 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 the curmudgeon, the one that has been here for 27 years, the one that I gave you the apartment. This is footage. What was that? Oh, I live in this apartment. But he lives here. Yeah, yes. I, he lives here, and I live in this apartment. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> this footage is just him testing closets. And other small spaces that you can fit a body. <laughs> That's right. We're not done yet. <laughs> Another murder? I suppose so. Listen closely. Thankfully, 
washed out my fingerprints, so we don't have to worry about it, but uh, I do got a bowl full of chili waiting for me over at Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> Something happened to your father. Nah, what I figure that is that rich guy's stomach, alright? It's just rich people can't handle the, the, the weird combination that they throw in at Chili's because at Chili's, you know, the Mexican restaurant, um, they make chili, <laughs> but they also make tacos. They pull in all old kinds of taco meat and everything, and you get used to that, you know, it's like water. <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> After you have the taste for a while, your stomach starts building a coating. Duck fat. And it eats away slowly and slowly, and the less you can digest hot chilies. It's oh. trash. Do you tell that it was mac and cheese we here? Because there's mac and cheese in the chili. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Your uh, father and I used to make mac and cheese back in the, uh, the days we don't speak about. Pour it! <sighs> Just the water! Yeah, two white guys only made it 60k a year. No! <laughs> 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 the words just scared my heart. You know, oh my god. Oh. What's up? Yeah, you 
guys argue over who of you two did it? You know <laughs> that you had the most to gain. I had a lot to gain, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You just play like a fool this entire time. I know you went to Yale. I went to Yale for like fun, and I did have fun. And I did graduate with an IQ of 78. <laughs> <laughs>
anyone who doesn't have a home in the airport, anyone who lives in it, even though Tom Hanks did it, he is a very lovable man, and you are not. You are going downtown. What are you referring to? Who's Tom Hanks? Wait, what? You know, I'm going to explain. It wasn't me. You never saw Terminal. It wasn't me. Well, first of all, he played this guy in 1994. But was it? Because it wasn't him. Think I was going to let that money go away? When I found out he sold the shell, I decided to <laughs> They own enough. They don't clean up after themselves. <laughs> yes, I knew Chili's has a series of health problems. <laughs> Especially at the airport. We've all been there. <laughs> all I knew is going to take one tasty bite of that jalapeno and boom! Guts would spill to the ground. But then people got in the way. Curmudgeon. Tabitha is... Mulligan. <laughs> she had to go. Hans. It's too sexy. <laughs> Reminded me of my wife. <laughs> so I did it all. Killed every single one. Because I'm rich. That's how we do, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to thank you one more time for making me the head of security at the airport. It's very nice of you to do Welcome that. Welcome to the TSA. <laughs> 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 you can bring at your job. <laughs> <laughs> Barely a job. <laughs>